Hey guys, it's Ghost Cuber. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Guo Guan Yu Shao and comparing it to the best speed cube on the market, the Rubik's 3x3. So, let's get into this video right now. Oh, my phone buzzed. What happened? Oh, I got a text from my mom. Hey, Steven, I love you. I hope your video is going well. Let me know if you need help with anything. Mom. Hey, Mom. I forgot the cube I'm comparing this Guo Guan Yu Shao to. Can you please bring it? Thank you. I can't review this cube without comparing it to another one. That's my mom. <laughs> Shout out to her for being in this video. There you go. Okay. So. The Guo Guan Yu Shao corner cuts at least this much. With very little force. And the Rubik's brand corner cuts only about this much with a lot of force. The Guo Guan Yu Shao reverse corner cuts at least like that, maybe a, even a little bit more. However, the Rubik's doesn't reverse cut as well. I mean, not all, not as well. It really doesn't do much of anything at all. See that much? Oh, it did do that. Uh, that much. See, it's not gonna go. So, turning. The Guo Guan Yu Shao is really fast. And uncontrollable. I get some catches on it, like this, when I'm trying to go too fast. However, on the Rubik's brand, as long as I align it up perfectly, I don't get any catches. <laughs> I just said up, aligned it up. <laughs> okay, back to the video. Oh, I just noticed we have really cool looking carpet. That's pretty neat. Okay, so back to the video. Overall, the Rubik's brand 3x3x3 three by three by three is much better than the Guo Guan Yu Shao 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Because as long as I align it, it never locks up. See? I can turn it this fast, and I don't get any lockup. However, on the Guo Guan Yu Shao, if I turn this fast, I sometimes get some catches like this. So that's terrible. So I need to use the Rubik's brand. So that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. Oh yeah, I need to solve the Yu Shao now. Hold on, I need to adjust the camera so I can see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it looks like I will be doing orange for this solve. I need the blue and white piece. No, that's wrong. Okay, I made that pair. I did learn F2L, by the way. Now, OLL... And see, I got one of those nasty lockups there. This is, this is such a bad cube. Okay, now I'm at a soon, I think. Or maybe this is the ZXB perm. Whatever it is, I did it. Did you see that? Isn't that cool? Okay, so now just PLL. Oh no! Okay, okay, I fixed it. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. So now, the last thing. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? 
Um, oh, it looks like maybe that's a bit. Nope, um, nope. Oh, I solved it! I solved it! Yes! Okay, so, see how long that took? That's because this is a, such a bad cube. Use the Rubik's, kids. This is the way to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye. And I hope you liked that intro, or I mean outro, not intro. I just came up with that right on the spot, though. Bye. Or something like that. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Am I in frame? I can't tell. But anyway, congrats to SMH Cuber for 100 subscribers, and I hope you like this contest entry. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.